Hey guys, I, you know, it's funny, these people, they go to sleep, they think everything's fine, everything's good, they wake up the next day and they're on fire. Porn with you and it look like <laughs> bad. <laughs> like, what do you even mean? What do you want to look like? What, like? What, 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 would, what would be the overall position that you would prefer? Uh, what would you go for here? Sex position. Sex position. Uh, uh, the one where there's sex happening <laughs> all the time. Yeah, like I would try to 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 look cool. <laughs> you just the entire time expect like ooh. But, uh, I can I can mm. see just that going yeah yeah. Yeah. No, I would be All too. Time. No, yeah, I would. That's that, good. It's the yeah. opposite. Oh God, I'm so sorry. The opposite. Oh, why did I do this? I shouldn't have done this. Accidentally. I'm not. ruining your purity. Just forget. Ooh, that's nice. Can't that, think of anything to say. Mm. 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 Just. Uh, I like the part where it's going inside of you. <laughs> Speaking I, of going inside got, of you, you got I'm this big the cook. Mole. We're shooting this straight into your ear holes. We're the three weebs. We got Matt. Again. again, or maybe, or maybe not again. Maybe not again. I don't know if you guys have been introduced to you, Matt yet. Chron on chronology is fucked. Out. This cr this chronological order is like, is is we're hurrying. It's here. totally fucked. We've made that exact same thing before, but we're, oh right, yeah. Uh, we're, we are. What's another thing with weird chronology? Well, oh, Reservoir Dogs. No, which we also Pulp say. Fiction. Uh, no, 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 no. Any no. Quentin Tarantino yes. movie. Uh, we, we are we are okay. that um the first three. The movie with a time machine. The time machine. Hot tub time machine? Yes, we're your hot tub time machine. <laughs> <laughs> Just blasting mediocrity in your ear holes. It's like we're some kind of three Aweebos. <laughs> Look straight at the camera. We are. Oh, God, what's the movie? Like the super what, realistic time what machine. What was movie. that Fantastic the Four? Time oh, Primer. Primer. What we was are that primer. Fantastic Four um, line that you were like, you got, you can't believe it? And I. Oh, look at Dr. Doom over here. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get a lot of Dr. Doom. And then there's, uh, the we're dating ourselves super hard, fucking whatever. Um, I hope people are still talking about how bad that movie do you is know, months from now. Do you know that Primer, the director, Shane Carruth, he made one movie in 2003 or four or whatever. Yeah. Made Primer. Yes. And then a decade later, he made a masterpiece in upscreen color. Oh, that was him? Nobody talks about that movie. It's so good. I've heard it's of that so, movie. It's so, so, so good. Mm-hmm. What's that one about? That one is about, um, so there's these maggots, and then the maggots... Like a bunch of losers? Oh, no, no, no. Like actual maggots. Actual Literal maggots. maggots. Oh. So if, if this dude is harvesting maggots, and then you can strain the maggots through with water, like you would tea. Yes. And then um, that you would drink that, and then that has hallucinogenic properties that also might allow you to take control of other people. Hey. Um, and then it, And then there's these two people who have been under the effects of this drugs, um, and then... Uh, it's a, it's a Shane Carruth movie. I could explain it, but that then sounds... it, it still wouldn't make sense if you See, saw I just, it. I, I just feel it, like I, I bet that gets complicated. <laughs> yeah, a little just, bit. Just the fact that you said they might allow you to control the people, I just feel like they're all just super high and they just think they're controlling people through the entire movie. And at the end, they're just like, well, they're they're not the the our protagonists are not the ones controlling people. They're <laughs> the ones being controlled. The last uh... sentence of the IMDb summary is: identity becomes an illusion as they struggle to assemble the loose fragments of wrecked lives. Pretty much. What? <laughs> no. Yeah. It's it just sounds not awesome. their wrecked lives. Just wrecked lives. There are other. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Declan. Okay. That's yeah, actually no. a pretty accurate description. It sounds hardcore. I'm Ethan, by the way. That's Declan. Hi. Um. I'm it. Upstream color is some hardcore bullshit. Speaking of hardcore bullshit, we watched every we watched 704 episodes of One Piece this week. Uh, wait a second. You didn't? I wait. Oh. Were we supposed to? Yeah. Oh yeah, I watched it. 704 episodes of One Piece in one week. Oh. How many did you watch? Uh, like sit one. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> um, you're not I, very clear. You weren't very clear in your text messages. You see, this say. is weird. 
Because I told you to watch 704 episodes in one week, and you... Well, you were... You, you, you said were, you would. You mince, I didn't mince words, you, bro. No, you weren't that specific. I sent I, you a text I, and said, I'm going to watch every episode of One Piece this week. I was wondering why, like, the bags under your eyes are hanging down to your ankles. I had no, four... He always looks like... I, yeah, it's true. I you had to invent monster. a time machine to watch that I had, fucking I had, a, piece. I had a time and turner. now we're back to hot tub time machine. I had, I had a time turner, and I was Her- Hermione Granger and the shit all up and down. Which did she do time travel? Yeah. It's the second book, bro. Come on. No, third, bu- third book. Jeez. Third book. Oh, right. Because yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. go back, they in go time back and, and save the thing. Yeah, the yeah, hippogriff. yeah. I remember that one. Uh, it, but Buckbeak is the name of the thing. Buckbeak. But no, I, I actually had 10 screens going at the same time. I was, <laughs> oh, I was just a clockwork oh, orange. Every single shit. different screen was just the beginning of a different arc. You, yeah. hooked, <laughs> them, you hooked them all into different yeah. parts of your brain, so you were yeah. processing. What's your favorite arc? I like I liked the one where he stretches his arms. <laughs> I love the. the I love the. the the, the big pur- titties. I love the purple school bus arc. That was my favorite one. <laughs> that you see, that was a hallucination. I don't think that actually happened. Wait, I still loved it a whole lot. I, I was trying to relate that to an actual one. No, I can't think of it. Okay. Oh, strangely yeah. enough, yeah. Uh, we watched one episode of One Piece. Declan and I did the low orbit missile. But arc. I've, Absolutely amazing. Over cool. the years, I've probably watched them all at some point in so, my life. So Matt, you read the manga. I read the manga. Caught up I, on the manga. And then after the manga, I was like, eh, I'll watch some episodes too. So and Declan and I, I have not caught a single second of one. I mean, I might have seen an episode or a clip of an episode at some point. I know the opening in the. Yo, before, ho, ho, before he had a pile of gum gum. <laughs> we need to we need to purge that from our minds though because we were coming in fresh. So I don't think it's gum gum. I don't think it's oh, gum gum. Oh, it is gum gum. Yeah, gum gum. Oh, thanks for ruining it. Hey, what you got it right, Matt? You're not supposed to give us information about. Hey, one that piece. was right. So we're doing so, we're doing a game. Yeah, the idea of this episode is. You and I, Ethan. Yes. We watched the latest episode of One Piece. Yes. Having never ever seen a, it or n- knowing absolutely nothing about it. Yes. And we watch episode seven hundred and four. We are going straight into this. No, f- no filter. Try to interpret what is happening. We didn't even watch the preview at the beginning of the episode. Nope. Can't. I this, can't have that. This we is purged current. our minds of all things One Piece. This is current hot newness. I didn't even know what the show was called when I started watching it, and I was like, Oh, One Piece. One, yeah. one piss? Hold one piss? Oh. Meanwhile, I'm just kind of here to just laugh and giggle at them trying to... So, yeah, you're gonna, we're going to give you our suspicions. You I'll go our first. sensei. And then Declan will go second. Uh-huh. And then we, you will tell us how close each of us got. Sure. Probably. Declan, you watched this slowly and took notes. Yes. Uh, I, I, there was miscommunication, and I just watched it once yeah. without taking any notes or any sort of idea. You just let it run through your, your yes. mind. It went in one ear hole and eyeball. It came out the other eyeball and ear hole. Um, so, Just, Matt, yeah. here we go. This is cheating slightly because I know the main character's name is Luffy. Oh, yeah. see, that's... Oh, but, oh come on. on. If you, you didn't know that, I'd be kind of surprised. You didn't purge correctly. His, his name is Luffy. Yes. Ah. Uh, What's his last name? I don't fucking know. Actually, wait, no. I mean, no. He's Okay, worry. so I, I saw in the opening fight, he's, he's in... There's a guy who was in the opening a lot more than any other of the characters. <laughs> there you go. And then in the beginning of the... Now epi- you're using context. In the beginning of the episode, he's in a fight. And he's he's tied down. I think these are his captors. I'm going to assume he's captive, and he's got he's got some some strings around his arms. And he's like, oh shit, I can't cut through these, but I can expand through these. So because he 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 expands his arms somehow through some sort of magical force, and then we don't see him for the rest of the episode. <laughs> and then we meet another guy whose name is the Heart. <laughs> what? No, his name's Corazon. <laughs> uh, he's got One a little. He's an Espanol. He's got. Now available in Spanish. Subs. I'm sure it has been. It's been um, going since 1999. And he has a little buddy with him. He's got a fucked up face. He's got like blotches. I, I apologize if you're blotchy out there. Your face is fucked up. What's, you're what's his name? You're beautiful. Um, uh, Law. His yeah. Name is Law. All right. So all his right. name's Law. I am the Law. Yes, he is Stallone as the as the Law. <laughs> um, yeah. And then we get. Uh, he gets on a snail phone. <laughs> he, he uses a snail to call. Like you do. Phones do not exist he, in this world. Only calls, snails. <laughs> he gets a call from this a guy who I think is a criminal leader. He has got a, he rides a pink flamingo ship. I'm going to try to remember his name. It's a kooky name. Touch uh, with a D. Uh, d- 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 there was Don Quixote at one point? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's it? That's, that's, just, that's like the last name. Oh, okay. And then... That dude's like, go get this heart-shaped fruit called the op- opop fruit. Op-op? Op- opop fruit. It's shaped God, like a heart. I'm and apparently, apparently, if Law eats this, Law will not die from his horrible face disease. And <laughs> his disgusting, <laughs> your foul, horrible, vile, mutant. mild blotch that he has. Uh, 
And then Corazon goes and breaks into this bad, this Viking fortress and gets the up op fruit. And then on his way back, he gets shot a bunch of times. And then in the preview for the next episode, we found out he's not actually dead. So all the poignancy is lost. I, that that I don't understand at all. I'm just like, why? What was this? What is the tension right now? <laughs> um, he's alive. And then at one point, I saw there was a there was a in the opening. This is cheating because yeah. it's in the opening. Yeah. I don't think it's cheating. Uh, there's a guy who's who's a skeleton man who has a guitar shaped like a shark. That's cool. There's a bunch of big titty What's girls. His What's his name? Isn't there only Fuck. one big titty girl? There's no, two there's big two. titty girls. There's two. Oh, okay. There's a brown, a, a red haired girl, and a black haired girl. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All you want. Um, all you need. Yep. Oh yeah. Don't fuck blondes. Don't fuck blondes. Wait, I'm confused. Um, and then just, just don't do it. And then there's a there's a ripped deer. There's a reindeer who's ripped. <laughs> uh, there's a dude with a bu- whole fucking bunch of swords. How many? I don't know. Oh, come on! There's, <laughs> you know, there's, why did you have a specific the swords, answer to this? Oh, I didn't there's have time to take notes. I didn't take any notes. Um, it's number of swords: colon <laughs> I think, I think twelve. This is my my thesis on the amount of swords in one piece. <laughs> my dissertation. Um, Observations on the There's like people with like, you can use like eight swords at once. There are a lot of pirate ships. So they they grievous it up? Uh, Yeah, Yeah. they just shit it up. They shit up the entire franchise by having a bunch of swords. And that's all I remember from the show. (laughs) Declan. Well, well, hold on now. What's up? We we need to to quiz you now. Okay. Okay, okay, so. This this, this person you you seem to think is the protagonist for some reason. Yes. Because he's in the opening. He was only in the first scene. He's featured a lot in the opening. It's it's a maybe, fair maybe the opening changes every episode. Maybe it follows a different character. That's, every that time. would be that'd a be lot dumb. of. Uh, that'd, that'd be a be lot dumb. of seven hundred four openings. They have a lot of. That'd be impressive. Budget. Huge budget. Ow. Okay, what do you think his motivation is? Why is he? Why is he in this castle? <laughs> a quest for justice. Okay, that's not probably... entirely wrong. That's not bad. <laughs> the most vague. <laughs> what what protagonist is not on a quest for some kind of justice? I, I think he's a pirate. He might be doing some pirating. Okay, and what about bad guy? What's he want? Just to be a real dick, real, okay. real boner, real yeah. buzz. I, I guess so. Also, not entirely wrong, but Damn, I mean, this is easy. He's got dope fashion. Mm-hmm. He's in the fat. I mean, if they say he's a fashionista. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's. I guess that's all. I guess you explained the whole episode. So got, I, we've got One Piece. One Piece has you, been solved. You've got, we solved One you've Piece. Got one all piece right. Unlock. Great. You, you, you missed except, one. Except you missed one like semi important character. Except you are completely wrong. Oh fuck. Because okay, I wa- I watched this episode and I got this shit on lock. Okay. I know everything there is to know about One Piece. All right, One Piece master. And I'm gonna lay it on you. Get that ready. Get so ready. Scripted, get, I'm ready sorry. For, get ready for this that's knowledge bomb. <laughs> okay. I have the shit all figured out. Okay. Just let me let me sort it out in my head for a second. So the episode starts off with the ghost of Ric Flair in a pink, <laughs> in a pink feather coat okay. fighting a bloodied, uh, mentally handicapped man. These right? are some solid notes. He's got like headings. I have to, bold. It's 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 bullet mark, points. It's, it's markdown. Yeah, it's easy. It's great. Best okay. notes. I think you're you're probably he's fighting this 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 bloodied retarded man in <laughs> in, in with he, all, with swords. So already, this show seems pretty insensitive to the plight of the retarded. So the ghost of Ric Flair... The plight of the retarded? The ghost... Their plight, their plight is to get animal crackers and drink apple juice. The ghost of Ric Flair in a pink leather, leather coat. I, I, not, not leather, that feather. Not leather I got this I'm going down the characters list. So his soul left his body because he had to go do two fights at once, and he can do that because he's Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah. And the Okay, so... Um, his soul left his body in real life, too, but absolutely. didn't go back. So then we got those two characters, but also in this in this strange castle that they're fighting in, Toei managed to get the rights to Mr. Fantastic somehow. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's pretty. It must be pretty cheap. Wait, after. I thought Mr. Fantastic was the retarded man. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. They got to blood up with the two swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't remember that guy? No. So yeah, so Mr. Fantastic. You don't know his name? Like, come on, man. Mr. Fantastic probably pretty cheap to get after that shitty yeah, movie yeah. came out. So yeah, they just gra- they just grabbed him for One Piece. Like, yeah, we'll take that character. Thank you, Josh Trank. They bought get. him for, for a nickel and fucking yeah. like, subway coupon. It was easy. So they took Mr. Fantastic and they made him into some kind of tropical Harry Potter character. I get behind that. And he can light yeah. his limbs on fire as well as stretch them because he had to fuse with the Human Torch in order to defeat Doom Sensei. <laughs> right? <laughs> So as a result of this, uh, the protagonist of One Piece, this little Harry Potter looking dude, is actually half black. Is not a lot of people know this. I can tell. Yeah, I, I mean, you can you can always tell. I mean, um, they think that you can't, but you so can. then that's happening. And then for some reason, the real non-ghost Ric Flair <laughs> is on the roof fighting a guy in a cow hat. Are, we, are you following me? Yeah. Okay, so guy in a cow hat. He ma- the the hat is made from his cow friend that he had as a child when he lived <laughs> on a farm. And where, the ca- where, where are you drawing this from? Where are you drawing this conclusion from? 
I, I, knowledge of fiction, Ethan. Come oh, on. Of course. So the cow died. The classic dead cow trope. His, fr- his friend cow <laughs> died when the land on his farm became unworkable because of Ric Flair's nearby toxic, toxic waste dump. Yeah! It's not Ric Flair. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it is not. So he wears this hat made from his best friend because he see- he roams the land seeking revenge and now he's found it. So big episode for Cow Hat I'm Guy. I'm glad that I'm finally represented in a television show. I don't get it. Because <laughs> I got Cow Hat made from my best friend. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, don't tell them that. Okay. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. A half clown, half human guy named Cora is hanging Tora? out. Is hanging out with a midget and a snail telephone. Oh man, I love that show. I like the part where she <laughs> makes out with that girl at the end. And okay, so Cor- Corazon, I think you called him. Midget yeah. calls him Cora. I don't the know. Heart. His circus. Midget. He he's a clown, but his circus went out of business because Ric Flair is so gosh darn entertaining. So he changed his getup to be a, still a clown, but like a lot more emo, kind of kind of Heath Ledger like. And he even took up smoking, and now he wears sunglasses in the snow. And that's his. That's hey, what he hey, does. There's now. a lot of glare. Lots of ri- a lot of glare on the snow. Sunglasses I, or not? No, no, like it's over. You actually totally do wear sunglasses, sunglasses, sunglasses in the, in no, the snow. Though. Yeah, you do. No. So lots of enemies totally of Ric do. Flair in this show. He's not a he's not a well liked dude. Um, not like real life. As for the midget, he just hangs out with Clown Guy because midgets can't think for themselves. We all know this. Yes. Okay, his family they was killed. They are mindless killed. automatons. Yeah, yeah. And this little guy, his family was killed by a disease, a disease that apparently only affects tall people. And uh, the he has Spina this... bifida. Yeah, I don't... Eh. And he has this disease, and Clown Man wants to help him because midgets, they get your morning paper, and they chase away burglars and stuff. He needs them. Okay, <laughs> it's, really imp- it's really important. So he walks, this midget, he walks in the snow when he's sick because, again, midgets are fucking stupid. But he also has a cow hat, so he might be cow hat guy's brother. We don't know. We'll probably find that out in, like, episode 800. Maybe something. they're lovers. Also a possibility. I don't know. Midget lover? Yeah, I don't Is know. Is that how... taking advantage of that midget? Because he seems to be mentally handicapped from your, t- from your point of view, apparently. Uh, it doesn't matter because they don't have, they can't have, they don't, they can't feel pain. They have no autonomy. Yeah, no, they don't have, they have no agency. It's, all, right. it's okay. You can do whatever you want. It's the best. Uh, Matt? Give, give me wink once. Accuracy for like ninety nine percent thinking so far. You're you're going the Ric Flair part. It's, okay, it's pretty right, much perfect. Right. So everything. So it's, it's actually it's not it's not fantastic, uh, Mister Fantastic. It's instead Elastic Man. I think is what you're getting at. Probably. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Equally worthy property to choose from. Yes. Yeah. So Cora gets a call from Rick, who asks for them to 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 come <sighs> over and hang out. Oh man. <laughs> um. Come over and hang out. So Yo, he, come over to my spot. So Rick asks him. To bring the law. Now, I was very confused about this. This is a Deep very... Metaphor. Deep metaphor. Deep I know. This is a very poignant line. And it's very confusing. But what I think has happened is that Ric Flair has staged a coup in the local region, but he needs the help of Clown Guy and Midget to maintain his hold on Fairly the local Fairly certain this is the plot of, of Seven Samurai. Fairly I, certain. I mean, it, I'm sure One Piece takes influence from a lot of different fictions and, and writings. Yeah. They, uh, actually, Oda pays a lot of attention to mythology and other hist- historical events. Yeah. So we're right then. So it is yeah. Sam yeah. Samurai. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So he needs, yeah, he sure. needs, yeah. he needs uh-huh. the help of Midget and, Midget and Clown Guy. Yeah. And that's why he says, bring law with you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the law is the name of the needs, source? Yeah, Jesus he, Christ. He requires them to maintain order. Also, there's this, this, he says that if you, if you, if you come join McCrew, we can cure the disease. I, that's people. Well, it could be. It could be people. People are people could, could be the be real midgets. monsters. Maybe it's the midgets. Also, oh, maybe the midget, 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 midgetism. I, well, here's what I think. You can tell me if I'm right, Matt. I think I think that the virus that um, oh I okay so I forgot to go into snail telephone because this is a character. <laughs> this is obviously he a really is a character because he's hanging out with two uh. of our main of our, of our protagonists. <laughs> I think he's actually a brilliant chemist, but he was transformed into a snail slash telephone because he was too smart and he accidentally. What fucked if he's up. the invisible woman? That doesn't. He's not what invisible. Are, what? No, no, because he was a brilliant what? scientist, but instead of being turned into an invisible woman in this timeline, he's instead turned into a snail. That doesn't... I mean... Shut up, Ethan. Maybe this is Ben Grimm. Yeah, just, I just guess, like, him. I guess Luffy has skin, so maybe he's... Uh, he's he's just trying to throw like, you off. He's just trying to throw you off your vibe. Yeah, perfect. Just, just I, I can't you're, have you're you show me so up far. like this, Dagwood. Uh, yeah. You can't just blow me out like this. <laughs> what am I doing? Getting it so much more right than I am. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I guess I'm, I guess I've just seen more anime. You know, I know how this stuff works. So snail phone, no one believes that he's actually human because he can only say ring 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 now. Uh-huh. It's very, it's a, actually a really tragic story. He gets covered. In, I'm gonna say in like episodes 50 through 100. That's all his journey. <laughs> I think it's I more just, than that's that. just a guess, but yeah, I don't know. So it's a very slow journey because he's a snail. Yeah. So back to this concept <laughs> of the disease because Ric Flair wants to cure this disease, as does everyone else apparently. I think the virus that transformed the chemist into a snail phone has begun to run rampant, 
and just transforming people all across the these islands into silly, silly things. Uh huh. Snail telephones. Uh, ripped, r- ripped reindeers. Extre- that explains that. Extremely muscular bananas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything. Yes. Every like all the silly stuff. It's because of this virus, and they want to they want to cure it because they want things to be normal again. No. They just want to return to everyday life. Why would life. you want it to be normal again? Snails are talking, and they're oh, and they shit. and they're telephones, and they're wireless telephones, and it doesn't make any sense. We need to stop it. Is this, so? This is it. This is your their, their plight is to get to return to normalcy. It's like the Wizard of Oz. They want to get back home. The way things were. I don't know. This is conjecture. Okay, so I think you're pretty on point. Is that it? He well he. No. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Continuing. <laughs> oh, man. Continuing with this phone call. I need, to, I need to get deep into this fucking, fucking analysis. Fucking easy shit, J.R.R. Tolkien. This yeah, is a no. true epic. This shit, it's... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Yeah. Ooh, somebody help. <laughs> Rick Flair. Knowledge. Rick Flair wants Corazon to eat, to eat this OPOP fruit. OP stands for overpowered. That's gamer lingo. Oh. Yeah, they put this in the show. What does Raffle Now mean? <laughs> uh, I think it's an insulting thing. Ruckus... On low fruits. Ow. That explains a lot. They kill yourself a lot. Ralph? Thank you. You literally just said Ralph, not Raffle. <laughs> you know, every time I go, I like, I text a girl and she's like, Raffle now, I just delete her off my phone because I think she's horribly insulting me. Turns out she's talking about ruckus is on low fruits. <laughs> of course. Dumb. The op op fruit. <laughs> it can. Okay, listen. Very fashionable no, no, no. clothing line. Listen to me. It can cure the disease. Spread, spreading face. throughout the land, but whoever, but whoever wields this fruit has the power to turn people into really dumb shit. Okay? What? <laughs> they ga- they gain the power of the virus, basically, you know, in but in exchange for you know eradicating it. But then they hold the power. It's like Transformers, the movie where you hold the thing, but you can turn people um, into snail um, phones. Unicron? No, Unicron's a big big planet. He's thing. a big planet. All spark. The all spark. Is that what it's called? It's the yeah. all spark. Oh, okay. Bad. Matt also happens to be a Transformers genius too, apparently. <laughs> no, okay, that's all so, I know. I totally forgot. So about as that. our as our duo is contemplating this, another fact that's going on in, in the midst of all this: the Navy is missing. Oh no, missing? You need a Navy. I know. It's, Especially it's, in a world that's controlled by pirates. I know it's distressing. I think they've Pirate all phones. turned into snail phones. Is what happened. <sighs> I'm gonna kill myself soon. <laughs> What? What's the matter, man? Am I getting too much right for you? Too much, too close to the truth. He doesn't want to have you spoil everything for him, okay? Oh, I see. I, I, I'll try not to get, you know, past episode 800. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so Don't worry, it's supposed to go on for an, at least uh, three more episodes. Yeah, and then, okay, so after this, Ric Flair drops this bomb that him and Clown Guy are actually brothers. And it's actually <laughs> really, it's actually a really lackluster reveal because he just says it and then it fades out and goes to the next scene. And then that's it. I thought that was pretty. Can I just straight up say that like they they've already dropped that bomb earlier? What? No, the... shut up, no, shut up, Matt. This no, is a, he... this is a self-contained narrative. He said it. Please, he said it. this exists in a vacuum. Just because he says "I'm your brother" twice doesn't mean it's like a new reveal. It's just mm. a previous episode. I mean, if you like, yeah, no. if you watch Star Wars episodes one through three, and then you watch episode five. It's like, oh well, duh. Of course, he's his fucking father. <laughs> yeah, it's this is. I mean, why? Why would they even? Why would they even say that? Yeah, why would they just like, go on? Put them Rick in that Flair. order. Ric Flair has a co- has a crew of pirate thieves, gangsters, gangsters. There's Queen of Spades. There's a large muscular lady with gold armor, spades all over it. You know the card, like, <laughs> the, like, lady. The card spades. <laughs> now she swore loyalty to to Ric Flair after he defeated her previous master, the Ace of Diamonds. So that now she's hanging out. I really want to look up a video just so I can show you the voice of the the really muscular dude with the gold armor. More crew. It's really good. We got Daddy Long Legs. He's got really long legs. He loves striped pants, and he was raised by giant tarantulas in the forest before being deemed useful for Flair's crew. And that's how we picked him up, right? Am I right? I'm just gonna stare at you. I'm sorry, guys. I just got invited to a, uh, invited to a free slush pool for Bitcoin mining. What? So, <laughs> wait, uh, really? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> From who? Someone you know? Bitcoin.cz. Oh, great. Last member of of, uh, of Flair's crew, Hagrid, child molester. He has a <laughs> large. Redundant. He has a big old beard. He loves cloaks and gardening, and he has a very unfortunate last name. What was his last name? His actual last name. Child molester. <laughs> oh right, <laughs> of course. <laughs> it is unfortunate. It's it's kind of a self fulfilling prophecy, really. No, he doesn't. He's not he's, a child he's, molester. He's, no, he's all on the. He's on the a child molester. <laughs> Wait, he's a child molester. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Steven is in the room with us. Oh my god. Are we channeling oh, Steven? Channel, channel Steven again once more. Steven, uh, uh, what did you think of the twist that it was actually brothers? 
stuff is just things that don't make a fuck. <laughs> Shit, that makes a good. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh God, I see Steven slipping into the ether. I grabbed that from. That was good. If you want to watch a, a like a motivational YouTube channel of it, it's just a hillbilly saying things at you. I found one, and I don't remember what it's called, but it's great. Stuff is just things that don't make a fuck. <laughs> well, is I that guess. make a fuck? Is That's that what he not said? Make a fuck. Oh hey, man, you can't even make me make a fuck. Uh, Unless you rape me, I guess. Okay, so I'm almost Ooh. done. Okay. So Clown, he wants Midget to eat the fruit because he knows that he's too much of a pussy to start <laughs> shit. When he, <laughs> when he eats. All right, he's not going to transform people into snail phones because he's just a little guy. He's a little bitch. He can't, he's a little fucking bitch. He's yeah. not going to do anything. He's a fuck boy. So they plan to steal the fruit, but Clown is actually part of the resistance against Flair even though he's gained Flair's trust. Okay, so he talks to his underground friend Admiral Fro about the heist. Underground. Yeah, he's part, mixed taste again the, the resistance. So Admiral Fro, he loves crackers, the food, not white people, and also uh, other soul member of the underground goat. And goat is goat is a goat. Goat's my favorite. Goat character. is a literal actual goat. Okay. Okay. Go. Matt, confirm. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. What goat? There's a goat, dude. Is it, Come on, goat. keep up. He had a bell. There was a goat. Goat, Mr. Goat. Oh, Mr. Well, goat. Whatever, it's a goat. Dude, he's like one of eight characters in the show. You should know this. Yeah. So then Midget passes out from heat stroke after wearing a cow hat and sun for too long. <laughs> Um, hey Ethan, you ever fuck up pouring water into a cup so hard that you almost fall off a cliff? There was this one time I was at the Grand Canyon. Yeah. And I looked over and I'm like, oh shit, that's the Grand Canyon. And then I went to pour, like I put my first my foot forward because you have to get a good like forward momentum going when you're getting to pour. And yeah, then I, yeah. I didn't realize I was on the Grand Canyon and I stepped off and I fell and I almost fucking died. Oh man, but what uh, a what a strange coincidence. Fortunately, that happened. Fortunately, there was a fence. I can't tell if you're being serious. No. Okay. You can't tell if I've, uh, if I've been But, to like, why would you say there was a... Whatever. Go on. You had extre- extensive knowledge of, uh, of Niagara Falls. I mean, what did you say? Grand Canyon? That's the Grand Canyon. That's another model. Hey, tomato, tomato. Uh, where was I? When you think about it, man. Oh, so they one's go just to- water, one's not, you know? Whatever. Yeah. They're actually, yeah, they're opposites, because one doesn't have much water. I mean, it doesn't does matter. Except for the body, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh! Okay. <laughs> so, they go to steal the fruit from the Society of Overweight Viking Cosplayers been there and uh i would make fun of them but they have a shit ton of lawyers so you just gotta shh, just quiet um and then like suddenly great. flashback the clown does a magic trick for the midget before he quit clowning forever he can make things quiet um come on i'm clowning and this is yeah and i can actually Danny if you, brown if you listen to this episode closely you can actually hear like the toei executives going like oh my god we can save money on animation and sound he has a magic trick where he doesn't yeah. make any sound so the episode, the last like five minutes of this episode had like no sound. It was um, beautiful. And then the clown gets killed like a dumbass, and the midget freezes to death like a pet that doesn't know what snow is or how to open a fucking door because he's an idiot. And then that's how the episode ends. Okay, I've so done it. I've wrapped my entire we, mind. We around have explained one piece. one piece in over a fifteen minutes. I, I rather, I'm, I'm really not sure if I should be impressed that you what, you put all that trouble in to, to make up that rant. What are you talking about? Or I should be very angry at you for know. making me sh- sit through that. Or I really don't know right you now. You did just make him sit for 15 minutes while you spewed shit into his ear. <laughs> What's the... Jesus Christ. They're making me sit Did I get this. something wrong? I'm just going to stare at you angrily. I'm not going to answer that question. Oh, I'm just, I didn't... Net, Matt has a net loss by being here. I, I guess think. he's just upset that his like his favorite property is so easily predictable just, and fucking was, generic <laughs> by the book's bullshit. You could have just tried. Like, I mean, at least Ethan tried. You're just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to make shit up. So, Matt, how close was I? I mean, you were so, like, vague about every single thing you said. You weren't wrong. I mean... Hell yeah. Guess that means <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> That's what that means. Yeah. And then Teclan... You can't even muster Dude, the word. Like, I can't answer Declan. There's nothing. I don't know. N- so no? Like, is that? 200% correct. I'm guessing things that aren't even going to be revealed until the very, like, okay, the, Matt, like what, the what, finale. What actually, actually happened in this happened. bullshit? All right. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matt, what actually okay, happened in Okay, we started at the beginning, right? There's started Luffy. The there's Corazon. No, not Corazon. I'm sorry. What, what the fuck do you call him? The guy with the pink? Pink? Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Rick Flair, his name is Dofi. Dofi, Donkey, Donkey Honey. I, can, I can have an accent. Whatever. Anyway. Luffy is fri- fighting Dofi and Belamy. However, Belamy is not necessarily against Luffy. He's being controlled by Dofi. Uh, through the wait, power what? of his fruit. Dofi has a fruit. They've got some control strings and shit. I'm really not sure what he it's has called. has a fruit or he is a fruit. He Come on. He has man. a fruit. No. We don't he use that terminology anymore. Is this the 80s? ate a devil fruit. 
It allows him to control uh -huh. strings and shit, and so he's controlling Blamey with strings, and Luffy's trying not to hit him in the face, but he hits him in the face anyway a couple Sometimes times. Sometimes you have to hit your boy in the face. You know, it happens. Shit happens. You know, whatever. Steve, Ethan, you turn my computer all the way down. I need my sound effects, bro. We'll be back. Oh. I couldn't believe it! Much better. Oh my gosh. So anyway. Go on. Why? This is so distracting. It's a show about pirates. What are you- Ah! Oh my god, no! Ah! Ric Flair, no! So that was One Piece. Why did you do that? I don't know. I thought it would be funny. <laughs> Jesus Turns Christ. out it was. Oh, poor Audacity. Oh my god. We're gonna look at Audacity, it's gonna be... <laughs> that is an opening to a show about pirates. What Somebody fuck fucking bullshit, send man? help. What is this garbage? <sighs> Tell me. They ran out of ideas the, it, it's, the 200th oh, the, the, episode the, the for openings. So like, come out. on. <laughs> Yo, ho, ho, they invite El Who actually watches the Gago, openings Gago. anymore? Gago. Come on. Oh, it's, oh. it's a two and a half minute opening. It's why you skip it. <laughs> oh, let's go to the damn episode. Sakura, the beautiful. <sighs> anyway. So, remember how there was two Dofies, two whatever the fuck you call them? Why are there two Ric Flares? Yeah, why? Two Ric Flares, alright? Because he has the power to control strings and shit, he made a string clone. Done. That's a really convincing clone. That's a really that's the point. That's a really specific It's a power. clone. Clones are supposed to be exactly the same. But how do you make a, like a st string clone? String that clone. Way? You just fucking did it, all right? You, you think there's a dojin where Luffy, he can stretch his penis, and it's because he took a... It's because he took a... <laughs> you can't even fucking... Fun fact, he actually runs into the island of the Amazons, and they all stare at his crotch. We're like, wait, what's that? And there's like, those are my family jewels. And he makes a family jewels joke. <laughs> <sighs> They try to yank him off, and it's real stretchy. Jack Link cannot can bite a, a cum. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck you're saying. So you just dropped your goddamn gator in. <laughs> I've been I've been scolded for dope for jokes. Not even a quarter as dumb as that. Like you might even say that you ate the low hanging devil fruit. What? I don't know. I'm very upset with you right now. You're going into timeout. Going into joke time I, I out. totally just, fucking missed just it. What fade he me out he said, <laughs> just leave. He, just he, fade me out and let me let me go in the penalty box for a while. <laughs> okay, you got a red card. <laughs> I didn't know uh, he, 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 was, he ate a he ate a pile of cum cum. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Not a pile, that's just gross. Come on. In a bar gum gum. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I've never seen Declan so satisfied with himself <laughs> over. No, this this, this motherfucker. This I'm is, really surprised he's just not spamming is, something on his freaking soundboard right now. This is at the extreme shame of telling the joke. <laughs> it took you three attempts <laughs> to get out this lamest cum cum it was joke. The dumbest thing I've oh, ever man. said. I could not get that it out was, of my mouth. Oh yeah, so yeah, it looks fun. I don't know. Whew, we're not even like two minutes into oh, the episode and you started Christ. fucking going ranting. Holy oh, shit. Oh, man. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Keep talking right, about so one Alright, so String Clone Dofi, right? He's yeah. fighting that one guy on the roof. His yes. name is Trafaliga... Tra... I'm just gonna call him Tra because his king first of name the is fucking crazy. He had fame, fight. power, and wealth beyond what? your wildest Stop dreams. What? Before they hung him from the gallows, <laughs> these were the final words he said. <laughs> My fortune is what yours for the taking. But over the world, set sail for the Grand Line. What is this? It's starting soon. Don't give it up, Luffy. Don't give it up, Zola. Don't give it up, Navi. Don't give it up. Oh, 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 Here's how the story goes. We find out by the treasure in the grand. I forgot this existed. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so good. His name is Luffy. That's Monkey D. Luffy. Made a rubble. <laughs> Yo ho ho, he took a bite of gum gum. Oh, His name's Zolo, he's just like the Samurai and an M-A-D-Y. Nami's not shy. Usopp's yeah. doing that marksman yeah. thing. Yeah. Sanji's cooking. Chopper's doctoring. Is this the opening? Like, that's Obviously. The, that's the, like, that's like, opening. Like, episode I learned one. more from this opening than I learned from this entire episode. He ate a watched. pile of gum gum. He did. And then uh, Butcher he took, is, he took a bite of gum gum. He didn't eat a pile of... He didn't fight a pile of gum gum on the fucking ground. He's like... Oh, this is he's a big guy. No, he's not. What? He could be a good guy. He's just a skinny little um, kid. But the ironically named Butcher is doctoring. 
What? Is his butcher. name Butcher? No. Wait. Chopper. Oh. Hold on, let's hear it again. Let's hear it again. No, no, he's right. Come back to the tape. Come back to the tape. His full name is Tony Chopper. Chopper. Okay, I heard Butcher for some reason. Chopper also kind of an ironic name for a dog. I'm trying to fill in. He's the Chopper. I'm feeling the role of Steven not being able to understand things. I couldn't believe it! <laughs> oh, I need to change that to... I couldn't... Understand it. Oh, oh my god. Comprehend it. Oh my god. So Matt, Matt, Matt where is Big Titty Lady? I in? literally didn't get any progress into this thing. The less I tried, and he's just going to... Where were, okay, where were you? Just. Oh, well, we're well, still well. on the goddamn roof where there's Try and then there's Dofi, All they're right, fighting. What's, what's, what's Cow Guy's actual identity? He... It's true. He's just Tra. Tra. What's he do? He's he's, That's a twist. he's he ate the oak, oak fruit like in the, in, that was the fucking flashback by the way the little guy that's him when he's little so throw that out there it's flashback whoa I don't get it what do you mean it's flashback that, that's the same kid that's not they're not brothers they're the little lovers, midget with the, the cow hat person. or whatever the, the fuck same it's, person yeah. same person wait wait, wait 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 there's wait. a fucking flashback whoa 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 hold on what what do you mean what wait the the little kid yes. had a flashback to when he was also no, a kid no god. Damn it! I put that together. I put that the together. The old guy I that's fighting Dofi on the roof, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the little guy. Is him when he was little. Same dude, same hat. So that first scene is flash way forward. That's present rest, day. God damn it! And the rest of the episode is a gigantic flash. Back. Yes, I told you. It's just a shit ton of background info. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, huh? All right. So they're not lovers then. Time lovers making um, love to himself. It's masturbation. <laughs> that's not the right sound. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah, now at yeah. uh, two minutes into the episode. I uh, threw my explanation. Finally, get to the flashback. Where are we at? Yes, flashback. They're, they're on uh, the island. When does he eat a gum out. gum? Yeah. What? When does he eat a gum gum? Shut the fuck up, people. <laughs> I wish you could see how upset Matt is. Oh. <laughs> Matt, we're talking shit about oh. something that Matt has been participating in and consuming for coming up in twelve years, probably. <laughs> no, I, I, I started. Probably a couple of years, like five years ago. Oh my god! Maybe uh, not even. Now I, I started reading the manga, and I, no, I started reading the manga last year. I just read it all. Oh, oh that man. was a solid two weeks of my life. I read all that in two weeks. Jesus, check this out. Oh, I get bored. Goal, you almost, fucking missed. Almost made it. You totally Put missed. Put numbers almost on the so. boards. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, so what's going on? Do I get to talk about Compton now? No, shut up. No, okay. shut the fuck up. No. All right. I don't even remember where the fuck I was. Flashback. He's oh, the same okay, dude. We're yeah, same right? person. So we're, 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 the we're twist with... was revealed that that's the same person. Clown guy and we're at, we're cl Clown guy around. Corazon, and we're with li Mini Mini Law, all right? When he was little. Absolutely. First off, little law. the white lead disease, right? Let's just go with that. Yes. That's, that, this is why he's all skin, splotchy thing. I swear to God, if you put on another video, I'm going to... Damn it! How mad this crush this guy! I'm gonna leave in the fucking middle of this shit. <sighs> you better not be looking up another video over there. I swear to God. I'm not. I'm not. I, I was just, just relogging into my laptop. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! You don't just close people's things. Uh, too bad. I just did it. Oh, oh, so. Man. So, oh man, little law, little law, has got wet, he's got big, big old lead disease. He's got white lead disease. Basically, the town he grew up in, forget the name. It's of a it. mining town. It's a sorts. mining town. At some point in this mining town's life, it found a substance called white lead. Okay, Is white it like lead white could phosphorus? be. It, I don't know. Maybe it was probably closer to asbestos at this point. Whatever the fuck. Basically, so don't they have magic though. Can't, shut up, Declan. Can't they just prevent fires? No. With magic? No. I'm just relating it to asbestos because it's like a rock or whatever substance. Like, oh, we can use this for shit. And then it ends up killing everybody. Can't they use their stretchy limbs to get it out of the ground? Can't, what if they just got really far away from it and then you Matt, just... I hope you can understand. You, like, can you, you, like, shut up, You, you, you were brought on this episode to be sandbagged, effectively. <laughs> <laughs> I came here with a totally different idea in mind, and this was not what I expected. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Man, I Shut up for five minutes, Zach. I came here expecting us to take One Piece seriously. <laughs> but One Piece is good, though. Uh, oh, my God. But come on, look at it. It looks fun. All right. Okay, Matt, go to your happy White place. White lead disease. Go to your One Piece White lead disease seems bad. Is, it, is that what Michael Jackson had? Basically, they found this rock 
And they used it for all sorts of shit. They made furniture out of it. Ooh, I think they made like crazy They got crackling going on. They made yeah. all this shit. Their houses, their whatever the fuck, fences. I don't get. They used it everything. Basically, the idea is that very slowly it gets into your body, and then it kills you at some point. I can but see it's why not fast. It doesn't see, doesn't can... happen fast. So basically, what happened is the people that initially found it, <laughs> they get in their and they get in their body. They have kids that gets in their body, and so on and so on <laughs> and so on, where. Have they tried not fucking their kids? <laughs> <laughs> what was that sentence? I don't even know what that meant. <laughs> ah! Oh no! I feel so bad for and Matt. It, it ends up with them. I can see why you love this so much, <laughs> Matt. You're, you're you're explaining it with so much enthusiasm. I can tell you're really passionate about One Piece. Maybe we should have gotten a real fan. I want to hit him with something. Give me yeah. something to hit him with. <laughs> Pass me that fucking That's... My Little Pony shit over there or something. God damn it! No, you can't. That has my cum on it. You can't use that. You can't hit him with that. No. It's too heavy. Give, give me the pillow or something. God damn it. No, no, no. Go on. What did I do? Hit him, ah! hit him with your words. Hit him with how much ah, you love It doesn't work. You, the only way to fight back it's is a non-violent to... podcast. Oh, my God. Can I can I just get through white lead without you shutting the fuck up? Or we don't get what like... white lead is. We no. I have to finish it. White lead okay. is coal. It pretty white, much makes white, it so... White lead is coal. It's, it's like bad. genetic. They genetic used coal. it. Everyone, pretty much everyone that was in that town was hit by the disease at the same time because whatever, proportionally, it just affects people at different ages, whatever the fuck. So the old people and the little people started contact- contracting this can I, can disease I guess at the this, same time. They now? all started dying. Can I, fit, okay. can, I, can I fit this together now? Yeah. Okay, so Law has the disease. Yes. And then he will be he will effectively be able to cure his own disease if he eats the opo fruit because yes. he'll have the ability, because he'll be a super great doctor man. Yes. And then he'll be able to use the super great doctor man abilities to cure himself, and then he'll be a good doctor and alive. High five right now. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Shut the fuck up, Declan. I knew that. Okay. Right. So. Oh, you dropped your mic in your vigor. In your vigor, you dropped your mic. Was that a mic drop of sorts? Yeah, that was. It was. Yes. I'm still great. Mm-hmm. Okay. Talk good. Talk good. Okay. Good. Happy good. place, man. Happy, happy one There is place. no happy place here. Happy place there is no piece. happy place. There's no whimsy in one piece? Not, not here. Not in this building. Okay. And then he goes and gets the fruit for him. Yeah. The episode. Yeah, basically. Cool. Sure. That was One Piece. Are we done yet? Can I can I be done? That is everyone's. That is that is oh, always wait, who one is piece. Flamingo guy. He's a pirate. I, I guy. called him Ric Flair. Yeah, Dofi. What's he Dofi do? Flamingo. What's he's, he just, do? he's just the head boss of this evil pirate group. Whatever. What, what, what do they want? Power, oh. money. I don't know. Just shut up. Where's One Piece? God. What is the? Is One Piece the heart? Yeah. Where is it? Is One Piece the core? Why don't you know where it is? It's been sixteen years, Matt. <laughs> it's been six. Tell us where it is. <laughs> 18 years! 18 oh, years! He got one of you God. kid for 18 years! I wanna kill myself. Aww. Oh my God. So, so, uh. what actually happens in One Piece? What do you mean? Outside of his arc. What do you mean? What does Luffy get up to when he's not pirating? He's always pirating. Right on. <laughs> ABP, That's always be cool. pirating. <laughs> and he's got big titty ladies with him. Does he's he- just... Does he, does he freak he's out fighting the bad titties? guys. He's beating the bad guys. He's pirate and shit. I don't know. He's, he's not. He doesn't actually pirate. Actually, showing him he's, he's not actually like in all in all form of the sense. He's actually really not like an, an everyday pirate like you might think. He doesn't ever. He really never ever ever steals rapes or pillages. Gold. No, no raping, no pillaging, no pirating. Really, I don't think he's ever even drink booze. Okay, no, could he, he even, probably has. Could he even get point. drunk because he's made of rubber? How fucking he's he? made of rubber. I don't fucking I'm know. Man. Now, wait a second. Luffy wants to be king of the pirates, yes. right? Uh-huh. How do you do that? You pirates aren't like an organized group. It's like becoming king of the shoplifters. You I mean, can't do that. In this world, they are. Fuck, deal with it. Oh, so it's like an organized... Okay, okay, you want to... There's, there's like kind of like a hierarchy of pirates. Yeah, just explain like this that? to me All real right, quick. some hierarchy. So there's your average everyday pirate. They don't mean shit. They're not very strong, whatever the fuck. There's the seven warlords, which are kind of like... Contracted by the Navy. What the fuck are you looking at? What? What? Doing? what? Explain it to me. I'm not gonna say dancing. No, 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 just tell me. What is that even? What even is that? You ever seen the Masashi Gundo opening? No. How have you not seen this? Okay, whatever. Keep going. Pirate or. It's like. It's like the seven that- warlords are contracted by the Navy and pretty much. They still do their own shit, but when the Navy's like, all right, you gotta do this shit for us, it's they're exactly like, It's exactly right, like cool. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, so, but yeah, and, 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 and in return, like, the Navy kind of leaves them alone. There's that. Then there's, like, the four Yonkos. Yonkos are. There's the pirate, like, warlord... Pirate lords. Pirate lords. There's okay. four of them. They're super strong, shit like that. Okay. 
Do they? Are they, are they all gum gum? Mm. Yeah, fucking punch you. Yeah. Oh no! But are they? I'm actually asking. No. Are they? No. Yoko no. Oh no's. Are they all gum gum? No. <laughs> basically, there's there's thing in the world that are called devil fruits. So basically, no one really knows where they come from. But the idea is that you eat them and you get a certain power. But in the return, you literally cannot swim. It's just not possible. You get into seawater and then you pretty much just die because Bad thing you can't, can't swim. Which okay. sucks. Kind of yes. blows. Whatever. Is One Piece just a bunch of devil fruits? No, probably okay. not. It's, a whole it's bunch not of fucking devil friendship to be either. Damn it! It's gonna be friendship, and you no, know it. No, he literally said it's, it's not. Friendship. It's the spirit of it. No, Oda, Oda straight up said it's not friendship. Yeah, but big old dildo made of gold. <laughs> big old gold dildos. I mean, hey, it's gold. One piece of gold. <laughs> yeah, it's one piece. It makes and sense. And you, you have to store one piece <clears throat> in your butt. Or it's like been the islands the whole time. You know, it's, it's the pirate it's ship. It's been under their the yeah. Ship. Yeah. So basically, there's, there's no satisfying conclusion yeah. to this thing. No, it might. They you should probably should probably just make it a whole shit ton of treasure. But even that's, that's underwhelming. Well, yeah, but but at least it's because if you try to. What if like, One Piece is the ultimate bad guy? He has to take down. And it's the no. it's, a, it's the greatest no. adventure of them all. No. It's the planet. Oh no. yeah, it's a, it's 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 the moon, and then they gotta go to space. One Piece is it's, it's a spaceship, and he go and he becomes space captain Harlock. There's actually some really yes. shitty theory about that. I'm not even shitting you. They actually there were some I'm guy, sure there are plenty of there theories. are so many bad theories out there. Oh, it's uh, probably, they probably, probably, they probably show fiction. the moon more than oh. once in the show, and like it's the moon. It's yep. the moon. It's gotta be the moon. Gotta be the moon. It's gotta be the moon. There's like no. There's honestly there's some obscure fact where they mentioned there was like four fucking moons or some shit in the One Piece world. And then it's like, at some point, they're going to go to space. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? They probably will. God damn it. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be radical. And no. then they won't have the problem no. of not being able to swim. Please, no. They can't swim? Please. That's, uh, if, if they can. ate the devil fruit, yeah. Luffy, Luffy can. can't swim. Can't do it. But he's got such long arms. But he ate a pile of gum gum. Oh, okay, yeah. A Wait. pile. Stop saying pile. <laughs> so, Jesus Matt, Christ. Matt, can Luffy... <laughs> What's up? If you say anything about his penis, I don't no, fucking know. It's not penis. If Luffy gets, if he goes underwater, yeah. he can't swim. Can he stretch his arms super long and go back on the boat? Well, yeah, pull himself uh, up. He see when they go in water, they can't swim and they lose all their strength. They still have like okay. their properties in a sense. There was a there was an episode where like Luffy's like stuck underwater by like a rock, but they like stretch his head up above water so he can still breathe and shit. Yeah. Okay. Can he? Like, but he has no power. Can he stretch his intestines so he can eat a whole lot? Yes. He'd be really okay, cheating. Okay, happens. Big old eating happens process. all the time. All hey, right. Dude, he yeah. ate a pile of gum gum once. I that's swear a to God. That's a whole pile. That's a whole. Lo- that's a. That's a lot of gum gum. You got to be careful. Uh, I know. Then, pe- then, I know people that are like experienced gum gum eaters. You want to hear some? Like, really, you try to eat a pile. They're like, you, you want to hear all the different then devil he fruits got in the piles. world? Go on. Ah. There's a whole bunch of different devil fruits in the world. Some of them are really fucking weird. One of the first ones you interest, introduced to, besides the gum gum, is called the chop chop fruit. Where basically this guy can literally just chop his body parts into little itty bitty pieces and he can like fly around and shit. So he can never be like sliced in half because he just like kind of like just chops himself in half. Uh huh. And he can pretty much fly around as long as his feet are on the ground. It's weird. Wait, if, flying, exactly. if your feet are on the ground, then you're not flying. No, all of his body parts are flying all over the foot. They're levitating. His body parts are like levitating while his feet are on the ground. Okay. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. The powers in this show seem very arbitrary. Or not arbitrary, or just disconnected. Like, there's no rhyme or reason behind them. Oh, they're, they're not. But some of them are super dumb. Like, Japan, one is, like, yeah. everything about my body is a bomb. So, like, even my boogers are a bomb. Like, that's cool. Fuck. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that's cool, though. Uh, there's, there, I mean, there's, like, a classic, like, one guy's, like, a volcano. One guy controls ice. One guy controls lightning. One guy Elementals. controls fire. Yeah, elemental shit like that. Then there's another guy who's, like, his whole body smoke. Um... God, let me see. He can't, does he just float around? Can't do anything. He just, he just really fucks up lost fan think. theories. Yeah. Chopper, Chopper is a That's reindeer. I know, I know. I was Chopper the doctor is a reindeer who ate the human human fruit. Fun fact. But, yeah. So what does he do? He's a doctor. Basically, uh, well, there's there's like certain types of devil fruits in the world. There's like zoan types and there's logia types. Zoan types are things that like transform your body into like different creatures and shit like that. So there's like mythical zoans. It's like uh-huh. so it could be like a, there's a phoenix. Uh, there's a dinosaur. Uh, there's like other shit. Uh, there's a couple episodes where there's snake ladies and shit like that. Nice. Um, yeah, and then there's logias. Logias are like they don't directly like transform you, but your body be kind of, kind of like changes. Like a that might be me. I don't know. Okay, we're cool. So the logias are like, so that would be like the flame guy, like or and the smoke dude, right? Yeah. And they don't directly like transform his body, but his body like, like kind of becomes shit. So, basically, the idea with, like, a Logia is that, like, you can't, like, physically hurt them, in a sense, because their body becomes smoke. I mean, certain ones, right? Yeah. So, if you can't, you can't physically hit smoke, right? You just, your punches go through it. So, you have to have certain abilities to, like, kind of fight them and shit like that, whatever. Okay. And you, if you inhale them... You no. <laughs> <laughs> that guy looked like he was smoking a J, I have to be real. 
I mean, it's doing a J. Yeah. Pirate J. W- Pirate yeah. Pirate J. I mean, yeah. Do right. pirates smoke weed? Yes. Do, like, no, they drink rum. Every, no. Everything on Earth smoked weed at one point, right? No. If you think about it. Uh, shut think up. about it, bro. Like, every, there's a little bit of weed in the air. Dude, every breath you take, you're getting a particle of air that was the last of breath of Julius Caesar. Think about it. And Julius Caesar smoked weed, so you smoke a Julius Caesar's weed. Shut <laughs> Julius Weedser. Uh, yeah. All right, we're off one piece board. now. Just we're we're, we're, we're in theoretical. No, I have more now. questions. Oh, t- questions. Did the ladies in this show eat the titty fruit? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really weird uh, because as the progr- as the show progresses, they get bigger. Boobs. They get bigger tits. Yeah, obviously, which okay. is really weird. Oh, oh. That's how anime works. Like, yeah. well, I mean, but it's like it gets uh, it's just getting annoying almost in a sense. <laughs> yeah, like around like They're big titty monsters. What is it like two arcs but, ago? Like, t- also, tiny waist monsters. Yes. Think? <laughs> like two arcs ago, it's like perfect amount of tit. Right <laughs> now, now it's getting a little excessive. Maximum titty. <laughs> so, yeah. what, but they, are, is it because they're young and they're getting bigger BB? <laughs> I, 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 I suppose <laughs> in a sense. I suppose in a sense because like um, they, there is like a two-year time skip in this show where they kind of do their my own boobs shit. If I made my brain went to mush, I'd do bigger BB. <laughs> get him, get get more body. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, sorry. It, it, uh, that makes sense. I mean, it's not, it's not far off. I get big it's not bad. <laughs> I finally got big boobies. Um, and then there's a guy with a bunch of swords. He's cool, I think. Yeah, he's Zoro. He's got three swords. Isn't there a guy in the show named Tony Tony Chopper? That's what I literally just said not too long ago. That's he's the, he's the reindeer with the human human fruit. It's the best name. It's a pretty good name. Cool. Oh my god, he has Tony twice. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, like with the zone types, Double you can like transform Tony. and Tony shit. Squared. So yeah. you can, like transform and shit yeah. with the zone types, right? So Chopper has like. Was it's like seven transformations, shit like that. It's brain point. There's seven passive chop. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but there's like seven where like he's always in brain point. Um, there's like defense. There's horn. There's jumping. There's like fucking karate. Hell yeah. Um, shit like that and all that. Whatever. So you can just transform to crazy shit. Do crazy shit. There's one guy that can like you touch their face and then you transform into oh, them. Oh, thank you. You're missing a sound effect extravaganza over here. Good. I mean, I'm enhancing the experience, and you're refusing to lo- allow me to, to do this. So, what the there, fuck? There let's it is. say you had the op- it's like if somebody had the opportunity to watch all 704 episodes of One Piece in one week, that'd be painful. That's oh, impossible. Shit. Or just you know, it, it all it watched 704 okay. episodes of One okay, Piece okay. as a One Piece connoisseur. Would you recommend watching all of One Piece? I would. Let's see. I would watch the episodes. Life begins stop. after school. Please stop. Please stop. That's when we bend all the rules. It's okay. Sixteen things going in the background. It's really annoying. Okay, go on. <laughs> would, the, would you Take watch all seven hundred four episodes of One Piece? I would probably skip a couple arcs. Or, all right, right a couple on. episodes. There's just some annoying shit. Like I, I'm not a personal fan of like whatever the fuck. I don't like Thriller Bark. I'm not. I don't like that arc. It's not a good arc. All right. No. Okay. So the general consensus on One Piece is watch it, but yeah. not all of it, or just read the mo- the, the the moon go, moon go. Yeah. Uh, the and then and then the the make moon terrible go. fan theories about the moon. Oh my god, it's fucking painful. Like there's some it, like you don't know anything about fucking One Piece, but you like listen to some people's theories. Like what the fuck are you talking I about? I mean, isn't it only like halfway done? Uh, seventy percent. They got to go something space. Said, I think uh, the producer said something like that. They got to head done. to the space. Sp- the space is the final frontier. It also the get, final part of One Piece. Get your ass to space. The, the it's the weird thing. Pirate like space. it's it's fucking yeah. right. It's episode seven hundred, right? And there's still so many mysteries like no one has a fucking clue about. Because they're never they're never resolved in a meaningful way. I read Naruto. I don't know. I know how this shit goes. One Piece has a lot of continuity. I've heard. It's uh, yeah. Holy I shit! I wouldn't be surprised if they just covered everything. But what do I know? Apparently nothing Char- about One Piece. Characters that like you meet in like the first arc pop up like fucking four episodes later. I can't keep up with that shit. So I'm yeah. just going to continue not watching One Piece. Even good. though it's very good, I'm sure. It's good, it's good stuff. I'm going to continue making fun of One Piece. Even though it's good, I'm even sure. Even though it's probably really good. Yeah. Yep. It's so good. Got any other questions? Um, yes. How does this relate to the Dr. Dre album Compton? No, shut up. Shut the fuck up. No. No rap here. The only, only rap we support it, is Want to f- finish off the One Piece with just like, I'll give you the general consensus of all of the uh, all the main characters. Like who they are, shit like that. So there's Luffy. Luffy. There's, Whoa. There's Luffy, there's Zoro. Zoro. Sixteen, starting to find my way. Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God, I'm on my own for the first time. I'm sixteen, life is sweet. When you're growing up so fast, you gotta make the good 
times left.